Hi, it's Dr. Carr again, and now we're going to do um, some um, basic gait evaluation. We're going to start with what we call hemi standing, and hemi standing evaluates the strength uh, and the um, and the muscle tone on the left side compared to the right side. So I'm going to start by lifting up her left and right leg and see if she can stand there. And she's doing great. Some animals that have weakness or hyper, uh, hypertonicity in their legs may have abnormalities here. And I would do the same thing on the other side, and that's hemi standing. Okay? Then we do hemi walking. Hemi walking is again assessing the right side compared to the left side, where I lift up both the left and right and see if she can walk with just the right side of her body. And then I turn her around and repeat that for the opposite side. Okay. The next is the um, wheelbarrow. And we're going to do the thoracic limb wheelbarrow and the caudal limb wheelbarrow. This is the thoracic limb wheelbarrow. And I'm just seeing if the front of her body has muscle strength uh, that's similar to the, the rear. So I'm going to see if she can move a little bit with her pelvic limbs raised. And she did just fine. And then we do just the opposite. And this is wheelbarrow of the pelvic limbs. So we lift her pectoral limbs up and we see if she has normal ability to walk forward and backwards. Okay, the next is called conscious proprioception and some people call this knuckling. And conscious proprioception evaluates the pet's ability to know where their paw is in space. So a normal dog doesn't like to have their paw turned over. They want to immediately put it back to normal position, and that is a normal response. A delay in conscious proprioception is when we put their foot down like this, and they keep it there. They don't turn it back. So I'm going to do her conscious proprioception evaluation, flip it over, immediately turns it back to normal. Flip it over, immediately turns it back to normal. And we do this for all four paws. Flip it over immediately turns back, flip it over, immediately turns back. All right, and the last one that I'm gonna do for this is called the paniculus. We find the vertebrae and we give little pinches along the vertebrae and you can see the skin crawl. That is a normal response. If you pinch and the skin does not crawl, that would be an uh, indication of an abnormality or a lesion. We'll do the same thing on this side, so again, Find the spine, starting from caudal, caudal to cranial. We do little pinches. And some people do this with a hemostat. I just do it with my fingers. And the skin crawl is the normal response. And um, hopping is the final one. Hopping is a little bit more difficult. This is where we're isolating one limb to see if it has weakness. So we are basically picking up all limbs except for one. And if it's a large dog, you might need some extra help. And we're seeing if she can move on, hop on one leg. And then we will repeat, repeat that for each of the other limbs. So I pick up the back limbs and support her and then see if she can hop on that one leg. And we would repeat that for the back limb as well. Pick up the front, pick up the last one and see if she can hop. And we would repeat that for the last limb as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the um, some reflexes now. So I'm going to put her in lateral recumbency, if she would be so kind as to cooperate. Thank you. All right, and I have a makeshift neuro hammer or reflex hammer today because I don't have my neuro hammer with me. And I'm going to show you a, um, a reflex called the patellar reflex. So I'm going to get her to relax. So lateral recumbency relaxed position, and I'm going to just very lightly tap the patellar ligament, which is right here. Here's the patella midline. Just below it is the patellar ligament. Oops. And watch what the foot does. That is a normal reflex. Okay, we can also do the cranial tibial muscle. And so this is the tibia here, and we I usually put my finger down, and then just tap that muscle 
and I should see a slight flexion of the hock. <laughs> Try it one more time. See? Okay, and you can also do reflexes up in the um, in the triceps area. So we can. <laughs> she's a little <laughs> tense right now, so you can do a little tap and see her. Uh, that the front ones not, are not as reliable, but you can do it up here. <laughs> Again, she's a little tense, so that one's not working too good. Her, do not have reflexes. Okay, so um, the next one is the so the cranial tibial, the biceps, triceps is on the front leg, and that's not as reliable. And then we can also do a toe pinch, and a toe pinch is when we just pinch their toe slightly and they withdraw their leg. Okay. That hurt a little bit <laughs> and I can do the same thing from the front a little toe pinch and it's normal for her to withdraw I barely touch her and she withdraws so that is the toe pinch or the withdrawal reflex and if they have pain they might whip around to bite you or growl at you or look at you um, when you do the toe pinch two more th uh, things I want to tell you about we already talked about conscious proprioception when we flip the paw over or knuckle them and see if they go back to a normal position. The um, superficial pain is um, performed if the conscious proprioception is gone or absent or a zero, then we'll pinch their skin and see if they have a reaction. If they react to a skin pinch, it's called superficial pain and that would be intact. If they don't react, so they have no conscious proprioception and no superficial pain, then we can, with our finger or with a hemostat, give a, um, a pinch to the bone itself without crushing it. Just give a good solid pinch. And if they do not react to that, that's called deep pain loss. If they react to that, then they have deep pain intact. And you do need to have somebody properly restraining the pet because it does, is not comfortable to have the, the bone pinched like that. And I think that is all the reflexes I wanted to show you today. Thank you. Thank you, Kaz. You're a good girl.